Hey friends, a few weeks ago I made a video about using the Canon EOS M200 for live streaming and walked you through the best settings on the actual camera uh, for doing so. Since posting that video, a lot of people in the comments have asked me if I can show you guys exactly how to set it up to your computer uh, using a capture card like the Camlink 4K by Elgato. You can use any capture card you want. However, I think what got people confused is most people didn't realize that you can't just connect professional cameras to your computer via USB like you can with a webcam and it just works. At least that is until now. You see, if you own a recent Canon camera like this Canon EOS M200 uh, that I showed in that video, you no longer need a capture card to use your camera as a webcam. While I am still planning on making a video showing how to connect a camera to your computer using a capture card, uh, this particular video is about Canon's new app that's currently in beta that allows you to just plug your camera in via USB to your computer and use it as a webcam without the need for any type of capture card like the Elgato Cam Link which has currently been the go-to option for most streamers. While you do still get the absolute best quality, at least for now, by using a capture card with your camera, you'll still be surprised how good your camera looks versus a webcam, even if you can't afford a capture card, but do have a Canon camera that is compatible with the software. You can find a list of compatible cameras on Canon's website, which I'll make sure to link down in the description below. Uh, but for example, both this Canon EOS M200 and my Canon 80D that I'm using to film right now, I was looking for it on the desk, uh, are both compatible to be used with the software. For today's video, however, we will be testing this out with the Canon EOS M200 as that's the one I previously did a video on and in my opinion, uh, this bad boy is the best option for any streamer looking to upgrade from using a webcam to their first budget-friendly camera, especially now that Canon has this software. You see, it's not only great for use as a webcam replacement, but this camera is also a great starter camera for content creation in general. I'm super excited for this video guys. Let's roll the intro. Welcome back to the channel friends. Hope you're all doing well. Before we jump into today's video, if you're new around here and you enjoy videos related to gaming and streaming, including tutorials like this one, uh, make sure to click on the red subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. Also, as a way of saying thanks, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you have any questions after watching today's video, or you just wanna hang out some more and chat about live streaming, gaming, or anything of the sorts, uh, I myself do stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening. Uh, link here on screen or down in the description below. All right, so guys, this is big news for streamers everywhere who have been interested in upgrading from a webcam like the ever popular Logitech C920 to their first digital camera. Whether you have a DSLR or mirrorless camera, Canon's new app probably allows you to use it as a webcam as long as it's been released within the last couple years. If you're looking for the best bang for your buck, a good starting camera like this Canon EOS M200 or the Sony Alpha 5100, which has been popular as well, can be had for about four to 500 US dollars. Currently, that's the best value you can get for your money if you're looking to upgrade uh, from a webcam like the Logitech C920 that you can see here on top of my monitor. However, on top of that, you then need to purchase some type of capture card which allows you to connect your camera via HDMI to it and then run that into your computer. The most popular option for a capture card when it comes to hooking up a camera is the Camlink 4K by Elgato, which approximately adds another 150 US dollars to your cost. 
With this new app, if you own a compatible Canon camera, you no longer need a capture card to enjoy most of the benefits of upgrading to a camera like a wider field of view, uh, the ability to swap out lenses, the different types of lenses and stuff, and more detail in the subjects, the objects uh, that you're recording. This app also lowers the barrier of entry for smaller streamers, uh, which is the total cost of equipment, uh, and allows them to upgrade to a more professional camera much sooner than previously able to. It's not all great news. Uh, there are some limitations with the software still being in beta. Uh, first off, the list of supported cameras, while it's not bad for beta software, is still limited. Canon has said they would be adding more cameras to the list as the software is developed. Also, the max video resolution via USB is currently 576p, so it's not even quite 720p, let alone 1080p. To be exact, it's 1024 by 576. This isn't as big of a deal as you'd think uh, because of two reasons. First, resolution isn't everything. For example, on screen here, I'm gonna show a clip of the Logitech C920 uh, at 1080p, which is the most popular webcam for live streaming. Uh, now on screen, I'm gonna show you guys uh, footage of the Canon EOS M200 at 576p. In my opinion, the Canon camera, even though it's a lower resolution, still looks better overall, still has much more detail and things like that, in the subject, it's just a better image. The quality coming out is at a higher bit rate, has more data to it. Also, another thing to remember is that you don't typically have your webcam completely full screen, taking up the entire canvas. Instead, it's normally a small box, a small rectangle, somewhere on the screen of your live stream. So again, being 1080p does not matter as much as you would think. Again, there is speculation that over time, as they refine the software, they could create a video codec that is compressed enough for USB 2.0 to allow 720p or even 1080p resolutions. Also, this is for their current cameras in their lineup. As newer cameras get released and they upgrade to faster USB speeds with USB 3, they may come with 720p or 1080p straight out of the box. So let's assume that your camera is on the list of currently supported cameras. What's the next step? How do we get this set up and working? It's actually a lot easier than you'd think. First, you need to head over to Canon's website and download the software. Again, link in the description below. Then after you install it on your computer, uh, you'll need to restart your computer for it to start recognizing your camera as a webcam. Once restarted, you're gonna go ahead and connect your camera via USB to your computer tower. And then when you load up an application like OBS or Streamlabs OBS, it will now appear as a video capture device in, in that program. And most likely it'll show up as Canon EOS Webcam Utility. The software is not complicated at all. There are no standalone recording or streaming options or features. In fact, there isn't even any options in the software uh, to change camera settings directly from your computer. The application simply allows one thing, for you to connect your camera to the computer and for it to be recognized as a webcam or as a video device. In fact, if you want to do any type of color correction or adjustments to the camera without having to do them inside the actual camera settings, uh, you'll have to add filters to the video capture device in OBS uh, when you add it in. There are a couple settings you'll want to make sure you have set in your camera. Uh, for example, turning off the uh, stabilization since you're most likely going to have the camera on a tripod. Also, you want to make sure you set the camera's recording quality resolution to 1080p 30 frames per second. Again, as they bring the software out of beta, you may be able to do 60 frames per second at some point, uh, but currently 1080p 30 FPS gives you the best quality via USB uh, from my experience and testing. If you try to have the recording set to 60 FPS on your camera, you experience stuttering video inside OBS when you add it to your scene.
Besides those couple things, which again, I think will be addressed over time as the app is updated and comes out of beta, uh, this app does exactly what it needs to do. If you absolutely need a higher resolution or frame rate today, uh, then you're still gonna need a capture card, unfortunately. However, for most streamers, I believe USB will work just fine. And again, eventually they could release an update that allows for both higher resolution like 720p or 1080p, as well as higher frame rate. Since at the time of this video, Elgato's Camlink 4K is sold out everywhere anyways because of this virus or for whatever reasons, personally, I'd recommend just using the software and waiting to see what happens as they develop it a little further. Again, this is fantastic software that I'm super pumped to see Canon release and I hope other Canon manufacturers follow as well. And with that said, I just wanna say thanks so much for watching today's video. And again, if you're new around here and like videos like this one, this tutorial related to live streaming, make sure to hit the red subscribe button below. Don't forget to ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. And again, as a way of saying thanks, please remember to smash that like button. And one last reminder that I myself do live stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening. Link here on the screen or down in the description below. If you try out Canon's new app for yourself, uh, make sure to leave a comment below. Let, let us know how it works for you. Also, share any settings or any uh, tips or tricks that you discover uh, for getting the most out of the software. And until next time, peace out, everybody.